hi guys welcome back to my channel i cannot believe wait if you can't tell by the title i'm filming like my eight eight week no i'm not even eight weeks i'm losing track already i think i'm like 10 weeks pregnant at this point so i'm filming my 10 week pregnancy update i cannot believe that i am already back filming another pregnancy update it feels like it was just like a couple months ago I was doing this with Maggie and now I'm gonna be doing it again for baby number two which we have got so many things to like update you guys on um like I th this is my first sit down video actually talking about the pregnancy I'm gonna tell you everything I've been feeling how I kind of found out if you haven't watched my pregnancy like announcement video so if you haven't seen that definitely watch that and it'll be linked down below but this is my first one sitting down and explaining everything of how i feel all my symptoms scans um anxiety all those kind of things so if you're interested definitely sit tight i honestly do not know where to start i think i want to start by saying this baby was definitely planned if you haven't seen the video showing that my first cycle we actually felt pregnant like first cycle we were trying we felt pregnant so i've got a video of that of me taking the test i really 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 did not think i was pregnant like 110 percent did not think the tests were going to be positive because i ovulated so late in the month and actually when i thought i ovulated i hadn't ovulated so i was just like stop taking tests and then it turns out I actually ovulated like a week later and that's when I fell pregnant so when I was taking pregnancy tests I was like they're all negative I'm not pregnant and then it came out pregnant and I was so shocked but I didn't get my raw reaction on camera which I'm so annoyed about neither did I get Zach's which again very very annoyed about but what can you do it was a nice moment for us definitely much nicer than finding out I was pregnant with Maggie then we didn't tell family for god like three weeks at least telling family which i know doesn't seem like a long time to people but we literally told family straight away of maggie so i think i was about seven weeks pregnant when i told family at this time everyone i think everyone had a really good reaction which i'm really happy about they never had a bad reaction with maggie but it's nice to have a good reaction with baby number two as well so obviously when i first found out i was pregnant because i was testing so soon i didn't really have any symptoms until around six weeks now i found out i was pregnant at like three and a half weeks because obviously i was testing so soon i hadn't even missed my period but yeah so six weeks my first symptom came and it was cramping i cramp like not anymore but it was like uncontrollable pain that was like on my hands and knees and at some point i literally thought as horrible as it sound was like something's happening something's wrong which it isn't everything is absolutely fine as i'm filming this video but i was really worried in those moments because it was so painful and that symptom is gone it lasted only a couple days but that was my first symptom that i did notice then soon after that came the sickness which was absolutely horrendous i haven't been sick well i had a sickness bug like a week after the sickness started but i haven't actually been sick it's just the constant feeling of feeling sick like there's not an hour in the day that i was not feeling sick it was horrible it was 24 7 if i ate i felt sick if i didn't eat i felt sick it was just not nice at all then it slowly started to like ease out and was just like i felt sick every so often now it's really weird i will feel sick probably if i have a big meal i'll feel sick like three to two to three hours after i've had that meal and i'll feel like i have not eaten in hours like i literally need to eat something there and then or i'm gonna throw up pass out like i feel like i have been starved so that's not nice so i've definitely found if i eat little and often it's definitely better for me at the moment with the feeling sickness like definitely best thing to do at the moment i can't say there's any specific cravings as of right now although i'm definitely gonna pick salty foods over sweet foods i will have actually that is a lie that is a lie a big bowl of salty chips 
mm, love with some mayo to dip i can eat that for days and then i had a steak the other day oh, give me another steak i will eat steak every single day if i can it tasted so good so maybe that's symptom not symptoms maybe that's a craving but i can't think of anything that major i need to have every single day or not but like i said i am definitely picking salty over sweet i'm not really a big sweet person anyway so it's nothing that's like changed from like normal everyday life but definitely salty over sweet which i will be doing in the future a like gender prediction video but i do know that one goes for a boy my anxiety with this pregnancy is horrendous i think every day that the worst is going to happen in this pregnancy and everyone has told me it's because this one was planned compared to maggie's so i don't know if that's the case but obviously i don't i didn't really have this feeling with maggie but there's not a day that goes by that i don't think something wrong is going on in this pregnancy my friend gave me one of those fetal like heart monitor like do it yourself at home and it's only just started picking up the heartbeat but you can't hear it obviously when i didn't hear it straight away i was panicking but in my head i knew that it was too early to tell anyway but yeah my anxiety is so bad so i am already 10 weeks pregnant and i have had two scans and as i'm filming this i will have another scan tomorrow which i'll be filming for you guys they probably won't let me film the actual scan but i'll definitely show you the results obviously um which i think obviously as i'm only 10 weeks they're most likely going to bring me back for another one in a couple of weeks so by the time i'm 12 weeks i'll probably have like four scans which if you don't know in the uk you only tend to have one at 12 weeks and then one at 20 weeks so i've definitely gone a bit ott with this pregnancy and we do plan on doing an early gender scan at 16 weeks so there's gonna be lots of photos of this baby i really don't feel like i'm gonna relax until like i can feel the baby moving and i like, just see it moving um just because i there's not right now apart from all the symptoms like i just don't believe it's real and my head is just telling me the worst so until i can actually feel the baby then i think i'll relax a little bit more and everything may be okay i don't know i don't want to say anything because who knows it might get worse i don't know why it would but fingers crossed and once i start feeling baby then my anxiety about all this will go away i really hope it does anyway because it's not nice feeling this all the time with the move in i felt maggie around 18 weeks so probably another eight weeks and i will feel this baby fingers crossed although they do say it will be earlier with your second but that all depends on where my placenta is and i cannot remember where they told me for the life of me so we'll definitely have to see i don't know if you guys are finding it interesting me like relating back to maggie's pregnancy but my like first symptom with maggie's pregnancy was literally feeling tired i could not stay awake for the life of me and this pregnancy i don't know if it's because i'm so tired because i'm already looking after a toddler that i don't really notice feeling so tired but i just i don't feel tired how many times can i say tired obviously it is tiring being pregnant but it's also tiring taking care of a toddler and all my attention is on her like 99 percent of the time the only time i really get to think about this pregnancy is obviously when maggie's sleeping so she has a nap a day and then like when she goes to bed at night that's kind of when my anxiety gets worse and i think it's because i'm not thinking about it all the time but who knows now for my least favorite symptom in the entire world and i know it's only gonna get worse and i cannot believe how early it started with this pregnancy it's absolutely ridiculous maggie's it even started earlier i think i was 12 weeks if i can remember correctly but the symptom is back pain i cannot tell you how much i'm hating it already the back pain is the worst bit about the pregnancy it's the bit that i hate the most and obviously because i'm only 10 weeks i know by the time i'm like 30 whatever weeks it is going to be horrendous by the end of maggie's pregnancy i literally like struggled to walk it was so bad my hips hurt all the time laying in bed was so uncomfortable i was waking up at night because of the back pain it was just ridiculous however when i gave birth to maggie they found out that I had like slight scoliosis so 
this pregnancy may be a bit different and I might be able to have a bit more support for it but I don't know I do want to invest in like a really good like supportive band I had one for Maggie but it wasn't really great so if you guys do know any good like suggestions definitely comment down below because I will be needing that like if I get one of those that'll probably be my lifesaver this pregnancy also the fact that we are moving soon we will have a bath and I'm telling you now, I will be having a bath pretty much every night just because of the back pain. It's so bad. Now, I don't think there's anything else to update you guys on. Like a few little de details and questions I've been asked by like friends, family. So Maggie will be 19 months old when this baby's born, maybe. Be like 19, maybe 20 months old. So who knows? Depends when baby is born. Yes, our house is a free bed house, so baby will have his or her own room i also really need double pram suggestions i like the side by side oh, i don't even know if i like the side by side i cannot decide on a pram but obviously my pram's a single pram and i'm going to need two seats we have just got a new car seat as well so we now have two toddler car seats obviously that's not needed for a little while but will be needed so we just got a new one for maggie and then probably the baby will use the other one who knows we don't know what's going to happen by then i cannot think of anything else to say and the sunlight is going so i'm going to end this video here for you guys thank you all so much for the love and support on the announcement video i'm so excited to share this journey with you guys and let me know if you want like weekly updates every other week monthly i don't know how often to do these videos but definitely let me know how long you, how often you want them Thank you guys for all the love and support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.